Here are the most recent deaths in the news. Immortal News is your daily source for finding obituaries in America and beyond. Silvio Berlusconi, a flamboyant figure and unforgettable legacy in Italian politics and media. Silvio Berlusconi, a billionaire media tycoon and former Prime Minister of Italy, passed away at the age of 86. Known for his flamboyance and charismatic persona, Berlusconi's influence left a lasting imprint on the Italian political landscape and media industry. His death marks the end of a tumultuous and colorful career that spanned several decades. Born in Milan in 1936, Berlusconi began his journey in property development before founding Mediaset, Italy's largest commercial broadcaster. He was a powerful figure in Italian media, and his successful career in business positioned him as one of Italy's wealthiest individuals. In the world of politics, Berlusconi was the longest-serving post-war leader of Italy. He led three governments from 1994 to 2011 and made a significant comeback in 2017 despite facing numerous scandals. His leadership was punctuated with charisma, resilience, and tenacity, earning him the title of Comeback King. Berlusconi's reign was also marked by controversy. His career was tainted by love affair scandals, allegations of corruption, and a tax fraud conviction. Despite the controversy, Berlusconi remained a significant figure in Italian politics, demonstrating remarkable durability in the face of adversity. Beyond politics and media, Berlusconi also left a significant mark on the world of sports. He owned the legendary Italian football club, AC Milan, from 1986 to 2017. Under his ownership, the club enjoyed considerable success and was saved from the brink of bankruptcy. Despite his divisive reputation, Berlusconi's impact on Italy's political, economic, and cultural life is undeniable. Tributes to Silvio Berlusconi Francesco Nuti, an enduring talent in Italian film. Francesco Nuti, a revered figure in the Italian film industry, passed away on June 12, 2023, at the age of 68. As an actor, director, and screenwriter, Nuti left a profound impact on Italian cinema with his distinctive storytelling and versatile acting prowess. His life, marked by remarkable triumphs and heart-wrenching struggles, stands as a testament to resilience and creativity. Nuti's journey in the entertainment industry began in the late 1970s, with the cabaret group John Cattivi. His film career took off with the 1981 feature film West of Paparino and the trio's work on RITV. Nudi's solo career flourished in the 1980s with successful films like Casablanca, Casablanca and All the Fault of Paradise. His song Sara Perte at the San Remo Festival in 1988 highlighted his multi-talented nature. However, the 1990s were a challenging period for Nuti, marked by unsuccessful films and personal struggles with depression and alcoholism. His life took a tragic turn in 2006, when a severe fall led to permanent disability. Despite his difficulties, Nuti's work continued to resonate with audiences, his films becoming an essential part of Italian cinema history. Francesco Nuti's legacy in Italian film will continue to inspire upcoming generations of filmmakers and actors. His life, filled with both light and darkness, remains a powerful narrative of resilience, creativity, and unrelenting passion for cinema. Tributes to Francesco Nuti Kyle Brown, a guiding force and prolific legacy in sports media. On June 10, 2023, ESPN director Kyle Brown suddenly passed away at the age of 42 during an NCAA baseball super regional in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The cause of his untimely demise was a medical emergency, the specifics of which are not yet disclosed. During his distinguished 16-year tenure at ESPN, Brown became an integral part of the production team commanding respect and admiration. His work covered a multitude of sports, including baseball, basketball, Monday night football, and college football. This diverse portfolio attests to his talent and commitment. 
Brown's remarkable contributions were recognized with two sports Emmy Awards, a testament to his relentless pursuit of excellence in the realm of sports media. His death caused a two-hour delay in the game between No. 16 Alabama and No. 1 Wake Forest, marking a solemn pause in the world of sports that echoed the profound loss felt by his colleagues and fans. ESPN honored Brown's legacy prior to their coverage of Sunday's Super Regional play, an homage to a man whose dedication to sports media left an indelible mark on the industry. Beyond his professional achievements, Brown was a cherished husband and father. He is survived by his wife Megan and their four children, Michaela, Carson, Camden, and Maiden. Kyle Brown's legacy is one of unyielding passion for sports and storytelling, qualities that permeated his work and inspired those around him. His sudden loss leaves a void in the ESPN family and the broader world of sports media, yet his impact continues to resonate, shaping the future of sports broadcasting. Tributes to Kyle Brown Leah Mortensen, a luminous beacon of Chicago theater. Leah Mortensen, a Chicago stage legend known for her profound and fearless performances, passed away on June 8, 2023, at the age of 57, after a battle with cancer. Born to academic parents, Mortensen's legacy was marked by her unwavering dedication to the theater, earning her equity card at just 24 and becoming a stalwart of Chicago's vibrant nonprofit theater scene throughout the 1990s and 2000s. Her notable roles spanned from the neurotic Ruth in Tom Stoppard's Night and Day for the Remy Bumpo Theatre Company, to her deeply moving portrayal of a grieving mother in Rabbit Hole at the Goodman Theatre. Mortensen's performances were characterized by her ability to veil and then intensely reveal her character's deepest emotions, drawing audiences in with her evocative vulnerability and strength. Her favorite role, according to her daughter Jesse Osborne, was Grace in Brian Friel's Faith Healer a production which demonstrated her courage in navigating personal relationships within the context of an artistic career. Beyond the stage, Mortensen was celebrated for her capacity to inspire those around her. As her former husband C. Osborne put it, when you were on stage with Leah, you danced like Nureyev, you spoke like James Earl Jones, you thought like Einstein, and you moved like the wind. Leah made everyone better than they were. Leah Mortensen's artistic spirit and dedication to her craft will leave a lasting impact on the world of Chicago theater. Her loss is deeply felt by all who had the privilege of witnessing her passion and talent. Tributes to Leah Mortensen Yoshikazu Kawaguchi, a pioneer of natural farming and a beacon of sustainability. Yoshikazu Kawaguchi, esteemed Japanese farmer, author, and advocate of natural farming, passed away in 2023. Kawaguchi, who was instrumental in popularizing the natural farming method initiated by Masanobu Fukuoka, spent 30 years farming sustainably in Sakurai City, Nara Prefecture. As the founder of the Akami Natural Farming School, he guided countless aspiring farmers towards a more eco-conscious future. Kawaguchi's journey began in the fields of his family's farm, where he encountered firsthand the hazards of agricultural chemicals. A severe liver ailment in 1978, attributed to prolonged exposure to these chemicals, propelled him towards a paradigm shift. Influenced by the work of Fukuoka and Wes Jackson, he adopted and began to promote a more flexible and situational approach to natural farming. In 1991, he established the Akame Natural Farming School, a volunteer-run institution with no tuition fees. His teachings, grounded in respect for nature and local climate considerations, have influenced thousands. Graduates of the school have opened additional learning sites across Japan, extending the reach of natural farming principles. Kawaguchi's work was internationally recognized and featured in several documentaries, including the 2015 film Final Straw, Food, Earth, Happiness. As a key figure in the Global Environmental Justice Collection, he had a profound impact on sustainability education in North America. 
Yoshikazu Kawaguchi's legacy will endure in the fields cultivated by his students and in the hearts of those committed to sustainable farming. He showed us that nurturing the earth can be done in harmony with nature, a lesson more crucial than ever in our changing world. Tributes to Yoshikazu Kawaguchi, Magda Saleh, Egypt's prima ballerina and beacon of arts. Magda Saleh, Egypt's first prima ballerina and a tireless patron of the arts, passed away in the early hours of June 11, 2023 in Cairo. A beacon of Egyptian ballet, Saleh's vibrant career was marked by her unwavering dedication and prolific contributions to the arts. From her early ballet training, Saleh's talent saw her win a scholarship in 1963 to study at the esteemed Bolshoi Ballet Company in Moscow. She later performed extensively at Egypt's Khadivial Opera House as part of the Cairo Ballet Company until the venue's tragic destruction in 1971. With her deep love for Egyptian culture and dance, Saleh completed her PhD on Egyptian ethnic dance traditions at New York University in 1979, a testament to her intellectual curiosity and dedication to her craft. In 1983, she became the professor and dean of the Higher Institute of Ballet, continuing to nurture the next generation of dancers. Named the founding director of the New Cairo Opera House in 1987, she further amplified her influence in the field. Even after moving to New York in 1992, she continued supporting Egyptian artists, organizing events and creating platforms for them to shine. She was honored by New York's theater in 2018, a fitting recognition of her lifetime of contributions to the arts. Her passing signifies the loss of an iconic figure in Egyptian and international dance, leaving an enduring legacy of passion, dedication, and cultural contribution. Tributes to Magda Saleh Stefan Pelger, a trailblazer in innovative and sustainable fashion. Renowned Romanian fashion designer Stefan Pelger, known for his pioneering work in innovative and sustainable fashion, was found dead in his Bucharest home on May 13, 2021. His untimely death has sent ripples of shock through the global fashion industry, with tributes pouring in from colleagues, mentees, and fans worldwide. Born in 1977, Pelger's passion for fashion led him to the National University of Arts in Bucharest. His innate talent and unique vision were evident from the launch of his eponymous fashion label in 2002. Pelger quickly rose to prominence for his clean lines, bold colors, and striking shapes that broke through conventional boundaries. A familiar face at International Fashion Weeks, his creations graced runways and celebrities alike, marking him as a formidable force in fashion. Pelger's mentorship of aspiring designers solidified his legacy, shaping the next generation of creative minds in Romania and beyond. In addition to his innovative designs, Pelger was a champion for sustainable fashion. His commitment to integrating eco-friendly materials and practices into his work underlines his contribution to reducing the environmental impact of the fashion industry. While the exact circumstances surrounding Pelger's death are under investigation, his indelible mark on the world of fashion remains. His legacy lives on in his daring designs, his impact on sustainable fashion, and the countless designers he inspired. Tributes to Stefan Pelger. Suna Khan an unforgettable virtuoso and pioneer of Turkish music. On the heels of an era-defining career, the world bids a poignant farewell to celebrated violinist and state artist of Turkey, Suna Khan, who passed away at the age of 86. Born in Adana in 1936, Khan's virtuosic journey began under the tutelage of her father, Nuri Khan, with her extraordinary talent revealing itself early on. Her distinctive prowess earned her the unique distinction of the Turkish government's Wonder Child Law in 1948, allowing her to study at the prestigious Paris Conservatory on a state scholarship. This significant phase of her life was instrumental in molding her as a classical musician par excellence. 
After returning to Turkey in 1957, Khan's career ascended to new heights as she became the soloist and chief violinist for the Presidential Symphony Orchestra. Her remarkable performances span not only Turkey but the globe, earning her accolades and admiration worldwide. In recognition of her remarkable contributions to music, Khan was honored as a state artist in 1971, cementing her place among Turkey's greatest musical legends. As a true virtuoso and a pioneering luminary, Khan's influence stretched beyond her lifetime, leaving a rich legacy for the future of Turkish music. Her passing was announced by lifelong friend and fellow state artist Gulsin One, marking a profound loss to the world of classical music. Sunakan's lasting legacy will continue to resonate in the hearts of musicians and music lovers alike, keeping her spirit alive for generations to come. Tributes to Suna Khan. Yanis Markopoulos, the maestro of Greek melodies. Yanis Markopoulos, an iconic figure in Greek music, passed away at the age of 82 on June 11, 2023, after a courageous battle with cancer. Markopoulos showed early musical prowess and broadened his education at the Athens Conservatory. His compositions, beginning in the 1960s, gained recognition and fame, including an award at the Thessaloniki Film Festival. However, it was in the 1970s that Markopoulos solidified his legendary status in the Greek musical landscape. His music was a bridge between traditional Greek sounds and symphonic elements, earning him international acclaim. He is particularly remembered for composing the theme for the BBC television series Who Pays the Ferryman in 1976, which catapulted him into global stardom. In addition to his towering musical achievements, Markopoulos was also known for his deep-rooted values. Markopoulos was not only one of Greece's most influential composers, but a cultural beacon whose legacy will resound for generations to come. He lived a life guided by introspection and the desire to connect with the indestructible sources of world art. His music, a rich tapestry of Greek culture, will forever be a treasure for his homeland and the world. Tributes to Yanis Markopoulos. Fakri Korvash, a trailblazer of Iranian cinema and theater Korvash, the luminary of Iranian cinema and theater, passed away at the age of 93 on June 10th. She began her career in theater, where her remarkable performance in Dirty Hands, in 1948, set the stage for a legendary career. Her transition to the silver screen started with the film Bolul in 1958. However, it was in 1971 when she cemented her place in Iranian cinema with the film Mr. Naiva, which won a jury award at the Moscow International Film Festival and earned Korvash a Best Actress Award at the Sepas Festival. Her captivating performance in Prince Etajab was another milestone in her illustrious career. In 2005, Korvash bid adieu to the screen with her final film A Little Kiss. Five years later, she relocated to the United States to be closer to her family and was honored for her lifetime achievements at the Iranian Film Festival in San Francisco in 2010. Korvash's contribution to Iranian cinema and theater was transformative. She was not only a consummate artist, but a pioneering woman who dared to pursue her passion at a time when societal norms were restrictive. Tributes to Korvash. Owen Jingerich, a celestial bridge between science and faith. Owen Jingerich, an eminent astronomer and historian of science, passed away on May 28, 2023, in Belmont, Massachusetts, at the age of 93. His illustrious career was marked by an unwavering dedication to the exploration of astronomy and its history, as well as an unapologetic embrace of the harmony between science and religion. 
His fervor for the history of astronomy led him to undertake an arduous quest of tracking down over 600 first and second edition copies of Nicholas Copernicus's groundbreaking treatise, De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium. A resident of Cambridge, Massachusetts, Gingerich's tenure at Harvard University was marked by his enthralling lectures and boundless passion for teaching. His creative teaching methods included dressing up as a 16th century scholar and using engaging demonstrations to elucidate physics principles. One such memorable instance reported by the Boston Globe in 2004 highlighted him using the thrust of a fire extinguisher to illustrate Newton's laws of motion. Beyond his academic contributions, Jingerich was an ardent advocate for the confluence of science and spirituality, often writing and lecturing on the theme. His work was instrumental in fostering dialogues and nurturing an understanding that the pursuit of scientific knowledge can coexist harmoniously with religious belief. Tributes to Owen Jingerich. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, we also honor the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of these days' anniversaries. Jackie Mason, A Life in Laughter and Preserving the Borscht Belt Legacy Jackie Mason, a renowned comedian who was instrumental in keeping the Borscht Belt style of comedy alive, passed away on July 24, 2021, at the age of 93. Known for his distinctive style, Characterized by a staccato delivery, animated arm gestures, and a thick Yiddish accent, Mason's performances were reminiscent of the Borscht Belt era, a Jewish comedic tradition that thrived in the Catskills resorts. Although the Catskills resorts eventually closed, Mason succeeded in bringing the spirit and style of Borscht Belt comedy to Broadway during the 1980s, where he found immense success with a series of one-man shows. Jackie Mason's comedic persona often depicted him as someone besieged by a world that seemed to assault common sense and his dignity. His performances were animated, as he gestured frantically with his forefinger in the air, sharing his sense of disbelief with the audience and inviting them to see the world through his lens. Though his career was not without controversy, Jackie Mason's contributions to comedy are undeniable. His ability to keep the Borscht Belt style of comedy alive and introduce it to new generations on Broadway is a testament to his talent and his dedication to preserving a rich tradition in comedy. In a world that is often too serious, Jackie Mason reminded us of the power of laughter. His humor, which resonated with audiences across various backgrounds, will be remembered as a treasure that enriched the world of comedy. Tributes to Jackie Mason. Thanks for watching Who Died Today America. If you enjoyed this tribute, please give it a thumbs up and share with friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring stories. Leave a comment below telling us who inspired you the most. See you in the next video.